What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, still on uh, Abba Kiari Gate, we have another trending news for you today. And the Arewa youth has come out openly in defense of Abba Kiari, and they have vowed and threatened. This is what they said. They said, what we will do if FBI arrest Abba Kiari, Arewa youth blows hot. Now, here are the news in details. Popular Northern Group, Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, has declared that nothing must happen to decorated officer Abakari in the wake of his indictment by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI. In a statement, the group, in a statement on Sunday signed by its leader, Yerima Shetima, described Kiari's current travail as an attempt an attempted intimidation of a police officer right inside his independent fatherland. He also rejected the purported plan to arrest DCP Kiari, describing the move by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, as totally unacceptable, a slap on the sensibility of our compatriots, and a ridicule on one of our finest crack detectives. The group said it will keep a tap on the happenings in the matter, stressing that there was no justification for singling out one of Nigeria's most effective and efficient police officers for castigation. He urged all Nigerians who are truly patriotic to stand behind a man who has made an unrivaled mark on the sands of time by diligently serving his fatherland. Shetima called on relevant stakeholders in the country, especially civil society organizations, to rally around this officer who risks his life in multiple operations across Nigeria, a fact proved many times through BBC news coverage of such operation. While we are conscious of our sovereignty as a nation, we demand justice for a man with a rival record of detective capability in recent history of Nigeria at the Wild Youth Consultative Forum uh, said all right guys uh it appears as if the extradition process is going to hit a brick wall as uh abba Kerry from day to day is gathering more defenders more people are coming out in his defense and they are speaking out just today um mcban that is me Tiala, have come out in defense of Arewas uh of uh, abba Kerry. in fact Mietiala, a lot of you know this group. It has been termed as one of the terrorist organizations in the world. Their headsman is the fourth most terrorist organization in the world. And even up to now, the federal government is still romancing with uh, with Mietiala, despite the fact that Mietiala have claimed that all the kidnapping and all the crisis in terms of insecurity in the country is carried out by its men. That's on record. So, but McBan have come out. Mietiel have come out and said that nothing must happen to Abba Kerry and that uh, FBI are colluding with Southern leaders to destroy one of their finest sons. That's what Mietiel said. And Mietiel even went ahead to attack Northern Area Southern for not speaking up in defense of Abba Kerry. And that is why you could see the arrogant display by Abba Kerry because Abba Kerry had earlier said arrogantly that nothing can, can extradite him to the U.S. Nobody can extradite him to the U.S. So you could see such arrogance and you know that uh, the arrogance is coming from this background of people supporting and aiding him. So uh, one of the latest here is Arewa Youth uh, Forum. They've come out in his defense and all they are saying that is political. You see, that's the problem with this country. Everything in this country today is political. Despite the fact that the FBI gave overwhelming evidence that this man was involved in the in the proceeds of crime. The FBI gave both everything and Abba and uh, uh, Abbas, that is um, Hush Puppy, have confessed to the crime. Hush Puppy have confessed to the crime and more heads are going to roll. And what we are seeing today is this how this country is going to move forward already? We are not moving forward. The country is already stalemated. And what we are seeing today is just one group having a voice in this country. So, guys, what do you think? 
I want you to drop your comment below. Do you think that this man at the end of the day is going to be extradited to the country? Remember, both Kashamu, the late Kashamu that died, was, was needed, wanted in the U.S., but he was never extradited to the U.S. And again, Alain Oyema was wanted in the U.S. He was never extradited to the U.S. Do you think that the, the Nigerian authorities, the police, are going to extradite him to the U.S.? Despite the fact that they've already suspended him to pave way for investigation, do you think that you are going to extradite him to the U.S.? Please drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Malcolm TV. God bless you.